Natalie Jessup, good evening. This group is called the Case Breakers. It's made up of about 40 retired law enforcement and military personnel. You might recognize that plaque at Hellfair Field saying that is where home plate once was at Old County Stadium. But the group says that's actually a little bit off. Home plate was really about 15 feet away where the camera is. So you walk 90 feet in this direction, you get to where third base used to be, where the pavilion now stands. Now, what does third base at County Stadium have to do with any of this? Well, you're about to find out. The connection between American Family Field and Jimmy Hoffa, the former Teamsters boss with mob ties, is a playing card, specifically an ace of spades. He says, you know, if anything ever happens to me, make sure you take that card off the bulletin board in the back room. Jim Zimmerman is one of the case breakers. He was dating the niece of Harold Walters, a former Chicago cop who also had mob ties. Before Walters died, he made sure the niece preserved this card from his Northwoods home. It says, Jay Hoffa, has the name of another mobster, Joe Ayupa, and says third base, Milwaukee Ballpark, September 16, 1995. First, the investigators used aerial photos to geotag how County Stadium used to be laid out. The plaque where home base said is that's not the right location. It was actually 15 feet away out in the parking lot. Tracing from that spot to where third base would have been led to the left field pavilion at Hellfair Field. They scanned the area with a ground penetrating radar. And there was only one disturbed area, and that was where third base is supposed to be. Then they brought in cadaver dogs. And the dogs uh, identified the exact same spot. So once we had that, you know, double verification of a, of the location, uh, especially from the cadaver dogs, um, that was that was the point where we felt much more confident. But the Brewers still had home games in September of 1995 after the date on the card. No one would have noticed the infield got torn up. I was always under the impression that that was the date that Harold met with these people and was told where Hoffa was buried. 48 years after Hoffa mysteriously disappeared, this group believes the next step should be drilling into the spot to collect soil samples. If they get a hit and you know you have human remains and whether it's Jimmy Hoffa or somebody else, there should be an exhumation. I also reached out to the FBI Milwaukee office today. They had no comment because the Hoffa case is still an open investigation. The Brewers did not return our messages. Jessup, Natalie. Well, AJ, the date on that card is from the 90s. Couldn't these guys find people who were on the grounds crew back then to talk to? Right. The investigators actually brought that up, that they did reach out to some historians, and they were able to get in touch with a couple of people who were on the grounds crew back in the mid-90s. They say those groundskeepers did not want to talk to them about this whole Jimmy Hoffa thing. They say that's not necessarily suspicious, that somebody doesn't want to talk to outside independent investigators, but certainly, you guys, it adds another layer of intrigue. That's for sure. I feel like if you read the headline, Jimmy Hoffa might be buried in Milwaukee, you're like, yeah, right, no chance. You hear the details and you hear AJ's report. Yeah. It sounds possible at best. So AJ, nice job tonight. Thank you so much. Hopefully they'll find out something to it. There you go. Well, coming up, uh, Holly.